and so another day ends starting to get a wee bit chilly so time to put the cardigan on head inside and scratch up a little bit of tea bloody marvelous hello hello welcome 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 hi pie i hope you had a bloody marvelous day bit of fog this morning lovely waikato day ducks were flying off the pond it just uh mm, interesting and uh, i had these guys there to help me bloody marvelous up early for an eight o'clock start on a foggy morning ride driving on in with the lights on for sure although there was one car a uh, very close to me that didn't seem to have their lights on it was a bit scary but made my way in i had everything prepared uh down at the container in the shed there and i had my the signs with me the survey signs that i was going to put on the shed with a couple of drills and things like that so had a little bit of prep to do before i went and i got in and loaded all the stuff out of the car into the container so that I, if I got the opportunity, I could uh, put the signs up. And then I went straight uh, into uh, the class, really, or got in around about eight. And, yeah, put them, uh, waited there. The guys arrived a little bit late, but we got underway and put the signs on, which was really helpful. And then took a couple of little uh, Instagram photos to... Well, to acknowledge the <laughs> the occasion, it was then that the fog was starting to lift, and we set up some total stations and did some readings and got all that sort of stuff done, which was was good. Although the class did go a little bit longer, uh, it was due to finish at twelve, but it was still going at twelve thirty and finished uh, just a little bit before one, and went and um to the next class directly but the numbers there were didn't warrant my my being there for too long so uh i did that and then headed back to the office where i encountered another student um who wanted to go and practice some uh, setting up and stuff so back to the container again and getting it sorted out but uh, the rest of the afternoon went pretty much without uh, incident, caught up with a couple of colleagues and did a couple of little uh, bits and bobs and got them all um, organised. And I came on home, um, got some petrol on the way home, and I, um, they have a spin spin the wheel thing, and I won $10 off my next lot of petrol. You know, it's probably about a litre, but, you know, it'll be less and less as time goes on. And uh, I came on home. Uh, something to eat and a bit of a nap and a bit late to my social media so it's half past one now and just starting to record so we should be done by two but we're up the hospital in the morning for an infusion so yeah bloody marvelous and here's the numbers i didn't mow do any yard work but 6800 plus steps is pretty good and the weight stayed within the 82s pleasing Six hours of teaching, four hours of admin. Yeah, pretty good day. Do you know the northernmost country of Africa? If so, put your answer in the comments below the video. Please. David of Desmond's Donders correctly identified these hair rollers as a hair styling aid. He made some pithy comments around their attractiveness while in and its effects on the social life of the wearers <laughs> it um, brought back memories of hilda ogden from coronation street bloody marvelous effort feel legit this has been a Mario presentation, recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.